lightsabers. This is about the only thing I found. Probably a good little ink pack, probably about 30 bucks. So there's my one item from the savers, nothing else. I pick other things up and look. These guys are just not worth it, but I pick them up to look. And so that's it, some savers. We will continue to look around, but like I said, 10 stores, one item. And here's item number one. I don't know, we're gonna take a look. This might be item number two. We'll take a look. A little Santa Dallas Cowboy figurine. Let's take a look. Uh, all right, guys, uh, he's got a little chip. He's got a chip right there. Otherwise, yeah, I'm still debating. He's in my cart, but I'm still debating. We will see. I'm gonna look this up. It's a Maxwell Parish puzzle. Not positive on that either. Okay, guys, I got the ink for $2.99 minus 30%. So that's like two bucks. All this was four dollars. And I got a John Cena WrestleMania wear, authentic wear, for two bucks also, extra large. Uh, so four dollars for both items. That's it from there. But that'll get me, I believe, about a net 28 profit. This will get me a net 10, so there's $38 for stop number one. All right, guys, this go Goodwill is usually pretty good, so let's go in and see what we can find. Maybe nothing, but we'll we have to take a look. This is their back area. Everything comes through here. This is one that does their own stuff and does ship some stuff back, but most of the stuff here they uh, do themselves. Very efficient. They have a line that comes around drops off so probably one of the more efficient goodwills out there okay guys stop two i got some vosk women's boots i paid 5.49 it's in there 5.49 minus the senior so five bucks i got these i'm not 100 percent positive on these but they're really nice looking they're bike shorts like t-h-e i think is the name not a lot of comps out there but 60 dollars is some of them I paid $7.50 minus $75, so $6.75. So those will be a little bit trickier to sell, but I'm gonna blow them out at like $29 or something like that just to, just to get a quick flip. So a pair of boots, that, and those two items. So that's two stores down. I have no idea how many more to go, but I'm gonna do this video all the way through. Be back in a little bit. Oh, and that there is the tennis racket that I sold for $99. That is going to Canada. And I couldn't drop it at a priority box. So I got to find a post office on the way there and drop it off. All right, guys, right here, reseller. Stop three, Goodwill. This one here is where I found the car charger to the Chevy Volt. Been a little lean in here, and the parking lot is full. So I got no idea what's going to happen in here. It's been a little quiet in this one for the past three or four weeks. So I'm gonna give it a shot, see what happens. Uh, no guarantees. Uh, well, wait, you know what? I did get a pair, of, two pair of Keens, I think, out of here. Pretty sure I did. Uh, they were, that was what I got here yesterday. But anyhow, sorry, it has still been lean. So I'm gonna go in, see what happens at this one, and see what we got. If we get nothing, we get nothing. All right, be back. All right, guys, a pair of LNT shoes from Holland. Now what's great about these is most people pass this type of stuff up, not me. Let's see, I paid that for that. Um, not many listings, but there are some sold comps, so people do buy them. I might have to sit on them for a while, but I think I'm going to get about 60 bucks for those. So this is the one item from this store. It looks like everything else is a no-go. So, maybe just a pair of shoes, but one from each store is all I asked for. All right, everybody, I'm out of that Goodwill. Nothing great. Two items. I did pick up the pair of shoes you saw on that video right here, these two guys. I think, you know, I'm going to clean them up. They're, they're really pretty good shape. They just need some cleaning leather care. These are going to go for about 60 That's what I'm hoping for. We'll see. Long tail, it didn't cost me, I think with my discount, about five bucks. I picked up these two. This is like shoe day for some reason, but these are a little different. They don't 
can see them by a company called Ramon, Ramonte Soft, but they're leather and they're like a butterfly pattern. Size 41 European. And again, these things are brand new. So they're brand new. I paid $5.69 minus my discount. So this is five, $5. I'll probably have to long tail them. I don't know. But at that price, you know, and they don't kill me storage wise. I can stick them somewhere. But this is my clothing. I mean, basically, I mean, it's us. It's a cool graphic t shirt or, uh, you gotta get out of here. So, cool graphic t shirt or something special. Uh, I did sell a Tommy Bahama uh, brand new silk shirt uh, this weekend for $50. So, that's kind of what I'm talking about. I'm gonna have to hit something like that. Uh, certain t shirts that I can flip for make it 10 bucks, but I'm not going down low like. $5.99 or you know, that kind of situation so uh, that's where I'm at on that kind of stuff so right now where do we stand at we've got six is that six items did we pick up six uh, savers was two goodwill back there and the other one was two this one was two so we are sitting at six items I think after three stores so three stores and I have I'm going to my little Honey Hole Thrift Store now. I have no idea what I find there. You see what comes out of there sometimes. Yesterday I got nothing, so uh, maybe I'll get a slice of pizza from them. <laughs> that kind of thing. Uh, they're great people, great people. So I'm gonna hit that up. Then I'm gonna hit up uh, a Goodwill, a Goodwill, a Savers, and a Hope Thrift, and maybe one more Goodwill. So I've got about six more to go. Uh, on my way home and this is how it's working. I did all my uber this morning I did really well with uber. I got the, the one ride that set my day up was perfect I had to sit in traffic the Bay Area traffic this morning was just horrific I went like 20 miles. It took me an hour hour and five To get into Redwood City. So everybody knows Redwood City is like halfway point between San Jose San Francisco so I was in Redwood City, which is right by a pretty good size Savers, and that's worked out just perfect. So I stopped right there. So I had made my money. I made good money this morning. At that point, it was about 10.30, I think. I killed it. I said, okay, now let's just kick into uh, thrift mode, you know, uh, and let's just do that. So I made good money with Uber, and uh, now I'm trying to make good money with eBay, and we shall see how the rest of the day goes. I'll be back in a little bit to show you what I got at the next stop. All right, guys. Uh, so I stopped at my little honey hole thrift store and nothing. Two days in a row, nothing. So it's gonna happen in this place. It's not very big. Uh, it depends on what they get. They got a couple things, but they just didn't work out, that kind of thing. So what do I got so far? One, two, three, four, five. I think I got six items, right? Is that right, six items? Six items, four stores, so I'm still above my one per store uh, catch. I didn't think I was gonna find much there, but just like I said, you just don't know. Great people, uh, a lot of fun to go in there and, and chit chat, that kind of thing. So now we're off to one of my better Goodwills in overall, uh, very Goodwill, very big Goodwill. As a matter of fact, what's great is a lot of people back uh, East Florida, I see a lot of these Goodwills that are like really big, huge Goodwills. We're getting one here in October, uh, which will have to add to my uh, rotation, a very big Goodwill. So that's gonna be kind of interesting. And they're gonna knock one of their Goodwills down into what they call a 50 off store. Uh, I think they're gonna take some of the stuff that they would normally just toss to the bins and throw into that store and see what happens. So it's called the 50 off, I think is what they're saying the name of it will be. So I'm looking forward to uh, the new super, super Goodwill. It'll be just kind of cool to see what's going on in that place. They're gonna have to put a lot of stuff in it. So hopefully they'll be putting a lot of good stuff. Like I said, Bay Area, lots of, lots of money. Uh, people toss a lot of good stuff here, so. Anyhow, I'm on to my next one, and let's see if we can at least get something out of it, right? See you in a minute. All right, Commonwealth Picker, I didn't take them. I almost did. Right. Mizuno. MX200. 
kind of my biggest issue. Regular shaft. Let's see if I can find it. Can I check on hard line, I know, it's a regular shaft, so. You know, I wanted to, but I'm not 100% positive on them. Uh, just couldn't pull the trigger, most friends. Uh, golf clubs I haven't dealt with, even though I'm a big golfer. Uh, those are forged, so that's a big plus. If they were stiff, I think I'd do it. But they're regular shafts, so I'm going to leave them. Okay, guys, so strike out again. Nothing in there. A couple of things are on the line, but you know, I've got, I've got to keep my uh, self focused, and it's got to be quality, not just the quantity type thing. So anyhow, I did take a look through some clothing, and I'll tell you, every time I look through clothing, my head spins. Uh, <laughs> The number of brands that are out there and so forth is just crazy. It is just wild to me. You know, um, so many brands also have been watered down from Nat Nast to Ralph Lauren, Polo, um, Lululemon, LuLuLaRoe, all of these these brand names. I mean, uh, and, and then they're wanting more money at the Goodwill for these items, right? So it's really difficult. You really have to know your stuff that's why I, I tell people one of the big rules is know your stuff know when you're over your head I'm kind of over my head in that clothing area a little bit I do know I can grab some t-shirts they're a couple bucks I can flip them usually pretty quickly so uh, not not good you know it's funny as I was talking to somebody there and this, uh, the, I was talking to someone at the Goodwill before and the Goodwill before they were telling me that that it's a smaller one they put out a thousand and eighty pieces of clothing a day, seven thousand a week. So that's a that's a ton, that's like a lot, a ton of clothes to me. And uh, the one lady, she says that she has to, you know, obviously do each one, and that's what she does all day. So she has a thousand and eighty average uh, tagging of clothes a day. So there's a lot of stuff that floats through there. Uh, I'm just not privy to sit around and flip through the racks. Da, 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 da. No, you know, if, if it's slow, I'll go take a peek, maybe for a jersey or a unique shirt, but that's it. So I've got three to go. The next one is not a Goodwill. It's a Hope Thrift Store. Then I go Goodwill, then I go Savers. So let's see if I can uh, get anything. I've got six items, nothing major. Uh, not gonna get skunked, but uh, let's see what I can come up with in here. This is the one where I found my Insta Hot canister. If you saw my video, how I fixed that and made that work for my house, this is where I found that. So let's see what else I can come up with in here. Be back. All right, guys. Uh, Hope Thrift was a disaster. Nothing. Of all the thrift stores I go to, that guy, that one is just a bloody mess. Okay. You will either find something right away or it's over. It's just that bad. So I hit my bigger Goodwill and only came away with one item. Not much, but it is something. It is a Zebco saltwater reel with my discount about $4.20. $4.20. Sells for $37. It will sell for right around $35 to $37 with free shipping should fit in a $7.33 mailer. So net out about $20 on this. So, you know, four 20 into 20, five times your money. Hey, that's it. Some days, hey, I'm gonna try and do some of these like this so you guys can see me as I go along. Uh, I don't hit it all the time, but uh, you know, it's been tough. I've been talking to people in there and it's been a little slow. And stuff hasn't been kind of coming out like real quick. I don't know if it's just because we've been in a heat wave and those back rooms are blistering. Uh, we've been close to 100 degrees for about two or three days. I gotta put my seatbelt on. I don't want to be like resale rabbit. Anyhow, uh, a story from one of the pickers in there. Great guy. He's the guy that gave me the uh, Franz cookie jar. If you've seen that video. He's having a rough go. He found, uh, he was in uh, Savers, just the one I'm going to now earlier today. Long story short, he picked up a bag, you know, he felt cheap, held it in his hand for some reason, he put it back down, 
another picker that he knew came by and picked up the bag and later on was showing him the bag was full of silver yeah silver chains everything I mean, he was devastated in there he was like oh my gosh i can't believe this happened to me you know we've all had that happen so if you've had that happen to you don't feel bad it's it's happened in more ways than one to a lot of people you know uh, myself probably too so anyhow we got one more to go the savers and uh, I got a feeling this one I'm not gonna get anything because it's usually late in the day right now I'm about an hour and a half too late I think but I'm gonna go in anyhow uh, because remember what I said if you, if you can walk and you can get in and you can find something so seven items and I believe I have, that's about eight stores, I'll have to double check. So I'm about one under, so I need to pick up a couple pieces. I'm not gonna pick up just to pick up though. So uh, let me see what I can find. I'll be right back. Yo, all right guys, I uh, just got out of Savers last stop. Nothing spectacular, nothing, but I did get one item. So I got one item. I'm driving, but I'm in a parking lot, so this is okay. Check it out. 99 cents for a amazing amazingly cool lighthouse coin bank sorter and that was uh really kind of cool and actually there's a comp on this so i paid 75 cents because it's a discount and tax 75 cents there's a comp for 20 dollars plus shipping a dollar into 20. there you go so anyhow all in all not a great day. Not, oh, it's chill now. Let me see if I can straighten it out. Not a great day, uh, but a steady day. Actually, I kind of needed it because I don't want to. Uh, I got some stuff I got to do at home, so it's not going to drive me too bonkers uh, getting this all done. But uh, eight items, all of them total with the net profit, the net, the way I'm looking at net profit. About 140. That's where I'm seeing this numbers at. And that's I'm always pretty conservative. I don't try to put it up too high to make it sound great. You know, so eight items uh, at $20 average net profit would be 160, and I'm down there in the 140. You know, if it got any better, you know, more power to me, but I doubt it. So 140, eight items, uh, close to my close to my number. Nothing large. So it's not going to kill me for space in the in the in the garage, and uh, you know another just strong day. And this is how you do it. Now the key here is get these eight items up. I will, as I usually do tonight. The big thing is the zero death pile. Absolutely nothing, people. You have to try to figure out that out. No death pile. You know why not just list it all? Okay, just get it up there. Yeah, maybe there's some seasonal stuff. I get that. That that's cool. As long as the seasonal stuff goes up and doesn't remain in the pile. So there it is. So that's my. Uh, you know, people ask me, how do I get to? I'm over 500 items in five months in my eBay store. 500. Uh, probably by next week, you know, I'll be 550. So my goal, like I told you, is 50 items a week. 250 items 2,500 items a year so that's my goal that's my goal all right guys uh, a little bit different on the video uh, might be a little choppy at first but uh, there you go give you an idea as I go along during the day today is another tomorrow is another day as they say uh, hopefully tomorrow I hit one or two big items that's my goal always looking to hit the home run right I don't like hitting singles. I like swinging for the fences. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later.